Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah, finally got these in. I was supposed to get these in Saturday, but man, I got the first wave of the Deluxes for Kingdom. And today I'll be taking a look at Black Arachnia. Yeah, so excited. Ooh, can't wait. So, beautiful box art. Love it. You got uh, Black Arachnia. In the background, you got Waspinator, Dinobot, and a Scorponok and everything. It looks like, uh, was Pterosaur? I didn't say Pterosaur. I'm sorry. I thought I saw Pterosaur, but no, it's not Pterosaur. But yeah, beautiful artwork. Love it. It is so nice. My gosh, look at that. It says Kingdom. All right, then the side over here, it's got the new stuff going on. Looks really good. And then the back, you got her in alt mold and bot mode. She turns into a spider, if you don't know by now. Nice Predacon symbol up there on the top for the hanger. So beautiful box art. Love it, love it, love it. Man, I'm so excited, man. Got some new Kingdom stuff. Ooh-wee! All right, well, let's just get to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah! Well, all right, folks. There is Black Arachnia, Black Arachnia in her alt mode, which is a spider. And I think it looks really good. So let's take a quick look at what he, she comes with. Now, they got this new thing with the collector's card, which is kind of a holographic nice little thing with a black arachnia and then there's like a little sticker and everything you open it up and it's a uh, black arachnia like the on the front of the box it's got her you know with a waspinator a dinobot and, and a scorpionock in the background that's pretty cool looks really nicely done you know kind of a thin stock not really thick but you know and you got this uh symbol for the disc and everything with the uh, beast wars and everything right so that's pretty cool i like that Really nicely done. You know, if you collect uh, little collector cards, these are really nicely done. So you'll like those and everything. And that's about it. Now, she does come with a weapon. She does have weapon storage, and which is right here. And I'll show you the weapon. I'll just take it out right now. Basically just pegs in right here. There's two little black ports right here. It'll tab in right there. So here's her signature, you know, kind of a bow, crossbow thing. Nice copper paint right here. Some beautiful detail sculpt work in there as well. And that's really nice done. And you got this mustard kind of yellow um, paint, which is throughout, you know, her as well. But nicely done. I'll show you when she holds it. But nice. I love when they paint the weapons. That shows they care a little bit. So I like that. Got enough rough texture. So that's her weapon. Like I said, it does storage and everything. All right, let's take a quick look at Black Arachnia. And the first thing I thought I saw whenever I saw the picture was like, she is smuggling grapefruits right underneath there. That's her shoulders, but... Yeah, it looks like she's smuggling some great fruits, great fruits and everything. But she got nice red paint for the eyes. Got a couple eyes in there. Like, looks really good. Then you got the Black Widow symbol back here. Nicely painted red as well. All throughout. So kind of, you know, it looks good. You know, you know, with the Beast Wars, you know, they, you know, tend to show the roll bit pieces a lot more because there's just nowhere. She's a skinny bot, and uh, you know, there's just nowhere to hide it really. So. But I think it does a pretty good job. You got the nice yellow or kind of a gold paint right there for uh, Badunka Dunk. You got the legs. Now, only issues I really have is so the the arms are really the only articulation she has in Inspired Mode. So when you start moving these, it starts disconnecting a lot of stuff. Untabbing her arms, her little you know her hands right there, tab right there. They're gonna come untab. Everything's gonna just start you know untabbing everywhere. Uh, but you know that's kind of a bummer like if you get her to the right you know position and everything she's fine you know she looks great i love it i love the way the spider mode looks but once you start uh manipulating the arms and everything stuff just starts untabbing then you'll start this will start going down her legs and you'll see little gaps and everything so it's kind of annoying if you're going to try to mess around with her but if you get her in the right position she's just fine now the article only like i said the only articulation does she has these are on ball joints and all of them move around freely now you got some nice rough texture, kind of feels like fur, not fur, but you know, like hair or something like that. Also throughout the body, nice rough texture. I like that. See, that, that's awesome. They could have just, you know, smoothed it out and everything, but they give it some texture and everything and makes it look real. So I like that. And then underneath like that. So, you know, you can't see the robot pieces, but, you know, I think it does a pretty decent job trying to hide it and everything. But yeah, so if you get her in the right position, you know, she will hold herself up. You just have to mess, mess around with it a little bit. And get her to stand but that's the only really issue that i have in alt mode is that you know, when you start maneuvering manipulating stuff and moving things it just starts untabbing so but anyways that is black arachnid in our alt mode and i love it smuggling some grapefruits 
Real quick, some scale reference. There she is next to uh, Sideswipe from Siege. Like I said, scale is not really a thing with Beast Wars, but there you go. A spider should not be as big as a car. But there you go. Scale and Crapagonic, some pepper spray and crappy toilet paper. More scale. Well, all right, folks, it's transformation time. Yay. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to untab the weapon again. And then you're going to see these claws. Her claws are, you know, holding on to the, her uh, heel spur and everything. Just move these out of the way, untap them, and then just bring these up like that. All right, then you want to come and detach the legs from the her backpack. Like that, and like that. And then you're going to take the backpack itself, like that, and then you're going to, there's a little tab up in there on the breastplate. It's going to tab in right there. So you just tab that and you can move the head um, through right there. And then, yeah, I don't know if it tabbed in. You know, I'm getting the right spot and you can tab it in. Hmm. I might do that off camera. But, anyways, yeah, so that's where she looks like so far, like she just exploded. All right, I was able to take it off camera, and uh, like I said, I, the breastplate does tab into that and everything. All right, then you're going to take this little piece right here, if I can try to get to it. It is a slider, and you're going to try to turn this around so you can get that right. All right, then you push these shoulders out. So they'll be facing the right way. And you just press it in like that. You're good to go. All right, you're gonna move this all the way down. Try to move the arms away. And you're gonna get the legs situated right like that. Now they do tab in, you know, when you're doing it, when you're transformed to it is like that. And you just bring them down like that. And you're going to bring the abdomen area in there like that. And it's going to snap in like that. Then you close this part right here. Do that. And then you're basically about done. You just get her arm situated how you want to. And I'll, uh, I'll clean her up a little bit. Get her arms right like that. So that is basically how you transform black arachnia. Let me clean her up a little bit. And I will be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. And man, she looks freaking awesome. There she is holding her weapon. Basically, it just slides in her little pinchers and looks really good. I like that. It can fit in either hand. I like that. I love the weapons. Nice. Like I said, I love that paint job. That is awesome. So this is her. And whoo. I love it. All right, let's take a look at her head sculpt and all that stuff and articulation. Beautiful head sculpt. Love it. That is all painted. Kind of a gold, like a mustard yellow kind of thing going on. Got the little red spot right there for the Black Widow mark. I love that. But beautifully, beautifully done. I love it. Lots of paint and everything. Moving on down to her chest. You got the spider legs around her, her little boobies. And you got the Predacon um, symbol also painted there. Come on now, they did some really good paint job. This uh, yellow, this kind of orangish, kind of, you know, try to match the uh, uh, puke brown thing going on. All painted right there on her little uh, claws and everything. Looks really good. Now, head sculpt, we look down quite a bit. Really nicely done. And can look up uh, quite a bit as well. Side to side and give you a little attitude as well. But I love, love that head sculpt. It is beautiful. All right, so moving now, at least these still have the same articulation, and you've got the ball joint and everything. So our arms go all the way up to there, go all the way around. But you kind of have to move these arms to her legs uh, to do that. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but who, do we, who really needs to go all the way around? I mean, come on now. Uh, looks like it goes all the way out to there. i uh, got a bicep swivel up here, and you got a swivel up on top of here. You see that little mushroom peg? So you got that as well. Like I said, these will move. You can move these any way you want to. But they mainly go back there. Uh, 90 degrees for the little elbow bend. And nothing for the pinchers. You can't move them. Or anything, but 
they look good nicely painted move on down once again you see these little the on the butt uh, her little abdomen area no waist swivel that kind of sucks you know because it's just the way the transformation is they couldn't get her waist swivel and that's that really sucks but you can get a really big van dam now you can go just about up to there for up i think it's enough good enough and everything back all the way this little breast little plate gets in the way thigh swivel and this is painted as well inside nicely done uh you got these neat things they do uh pop out if you want to do that as well and you do got a really great knee bend like that now you do got a toe tail up nothing down but you do have a rocker so it looks good whoops let's pop that out so <laughs> well hasbro thank god you can just pop that back in you're good to go all right then you got the back cleans up pretty good so you know you got the arms and everything but you got the black widow thing you got a little hollowness right there some waffles but it's not too terrible not too terrible at all so yeah really nicely done so that is articulation and sculpt work of kingdom black arachnia all right there she is next to deluxe mirage a voyager ramjet and a, a later class ultra prime i don't know if i mentioned she is deluxe class i think i did but there she is scale and real quick there she is next to the core class vertebrake and um rat trap uh, they're the core class so i think it scales pretty good and there you go more scale yay and crapagonics pepper spray some crappy toilet paper and squeaks for even more scale all right folks let's talk about some deluxe class kingdom black arachnia beast wars rawr. and overall oh this is a great great start i mean so far i've loved kingdom i got the core classes i really like those and this one really really shines only issues i have in alt mode whenever you're trying to manipulate or move anything around stuff you know starts on tabbing if you get it in the right place in the right spot and everything looks good but you know if you start moving the legs and everything stuff tends to pop around and everything so it gets kind of annoying but overall i love the alt mode the spire mode looks really good i love that you can store the weapon underneath her uh, you know underneath her and everything just like you know the, the masterpiece and all that stuff but yeah really well done i love the spire mode it looks really good i love the texture on the plastics it makes it kind of feels like it's you know fur or kind of a hair or something like that really like that i like the touch of that it feels really good so yeah really great alt mode Transformations, easy, shouldn't take too long to figure it out. The instructions are pretty good, so you can just you know read those and figure it out and everything. So yeah, transformation's fun and it's real easy. I like it. The bot mode. Bot mode is beautiful. I love it. Only issues I have is articulation. I wish she had a waist swivel. If she had a waist swivel, she'd be almost perfect, man. She still can get in some great positions and everything. And so I love posing her and I love taking pictures of her. Really nicely done with articulation. Just wish she had that waist swivel. And then, oh, mwah, would have been so good. The paint is spectacular. My gosh, tons of paint. The head sculpt has paint. You know, I like the spider legs on her breastplate. That looks good. Her weapon's painted. That is awesome. So really great job in the paint, especially for a deluxe Hasbro figure come on now the sculpt looks really good it has a great presence i love it i love the uh, black arachnia masterpiece is one of my favorite from the beast wars and i love this i love the uh, the legs can you know articulate and everything that's really cool but yeah overall just really freaking awesome i love it so far so good with the kingdom stuff man oh i can't wait to open up the three other three i have and uh you know try to uh play around with those but yeah this is a fun transformer i highly highly recommend getting her whenever you get a chance awesome all right let's get on the floor do some floor time won't you join me be my neighbor all right all right all right so yeah man so man hasbro doing some good stuff man this kingdom line the siege line the earth rise you got the 86 movie stuff coming out my god whoever is developing you know designers and everything that took over this new stuff great job i know you're watching hasbro i know but man you are putting out some good quality stuff i really love it she is freaking awesome mm -mm -mm. yeah this is oh, i love it I, I, I just love being a Transformer fan. It is so great to be a Transformer fan right now with so much stuff. You got third party, you got Legends. Man, you got Hasbro stuff, you know, stepping up their games with this stuff. It's really fun. My gosh, aren't you excited? I'm excited. Can't wait to open up the other three I got. So yeah, very nicely done. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? How oh, we're doing good? What's up? What's up, Black Arachnid? Who are you being? Oh, just chilling, just chilling with the Predacons, you know, trying to take over the world. Yeah, yeah. You bad guys, you know, y'all uh, always trying to take over the world for some reason, but 
you know, no hate, no hate. Yeah, I got you. Pound it. All right. All right. All right. So that was my review over the Kingdom Black Arachnia Beast Wars. I'm happy finally. Beast Wars fans are getting some great stuff now. So yeah, I love it. All right, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review, if anybody's getting her. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Kingdom review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks. Yeah, she's so sexy. Sexy and she knows it. Mm.